Alright guys, we're back. Let's see uh, everything's set up correctly. Alright, let's see if we can start the pick and ban. How, how far are we along with the pick and ban? Uh, uh, they haven't started. I see that... Uh, C. Oh, they, they banned Chester. They banned Chester already. It, 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 I, it has I started. I, I, I'm viewing it now. C. Joe. <laughs> Kettleman Joe. <laughs> Kettleman Joe. <laughs> Against M. Who's M? <laughs> Is that Maltono? Uh, yeah. I see. Oh. So they banned Chester. What a, what a, that's not a big, very big surprise. You normally see the, the Chester, Hill, and Harrow bans and picks. Oh wow! And yeah, and the hero ban as well. Uh, and we got a delay, <laughs> of course. The stream isn't up yet. Uh, I said that it was that we restarted it, but we'll see. And there's a hill pick. Wow. So yeah, there's the hill pick from Cattleman. Uh, Steam and the Claudessa and Fetterstone pick from Maltono's team. So I have a feeling who's playing Claudessa. I think that will be Maltono in this in this case. I'm not sure who gonna play Fetterstone though. But uh, Hill will probably be Cattleman Joe. He's a very good Hill player. But now their team has two picks to go. Who do you think they're gonna pick, uh, Ninzi? Uh, my bad, my bad. Let's see, it's uh, 1.0. We got a hey, the Harrier band. Um, wow, that's a Ray pick. A Ray pick. Ray. And uh, maybe. Shank is always strong to have. Uh, Shank is a really good hero. Um. I'm not really sure. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they are, are they going traditional or are they doing some surprises? That's the main questions in this game now. Yeah, I, I still want to see Buford. Buford, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Buford and Zaku, I don't know where they're from. They're both from the swamp, but <laughs> they don't get picked. <laughs> but we, we also know that um, Minky is a really good uh, Vern player, but they pick Moxie instead. They pick Moxie Ray. That's a lot of magic damage right there. They can also poke really badly against the towers with Moxie. Moxie is, is buffed because of this, because that lightning bolt hits a shit ton of damage and is great at pushing. It's a very underestimated hero. Uh, one of my favorite heroes, Moxie. So, yeah. So, guys, is the stream back up? Just, just double checking. Is everything back up? Everything working? Uh, it's still offline. Are you sure you you pressed the stream? Yeah, yeah, it says it says it's streaming. Okay, then it's just a delay. It's on the hundred and eighty seconds delay on the request by Bose. It, um, it was I think on. It's up now. Yeah, it's live now. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's good. And they picked a Lady Tinder on Maltono, so they they have two supports now. Two supports. It's Claudessa and Lady Tinder. And, and we're probably gonna see the mana. Uh, Tinder, I'd say. You think? Um, maybe with one of the new items. I did like that last new item. What was that called? I'm, I'm not sure, but it, it freezes an area. And, yeah, and it, I'm not... it's like, yeah. a, like, like a void key on an area. It's crazy, but it's really nice. Let's um... see. So it's Fellas' turn to pick. Let's see yes, what they will have. Eye of Tempera. The Eye of Tempra. Hmm. Sounds good. The Eye of Tempra. And it, what it does is just like a big ice dome and it freezes everything within that scope. That's really nice. I'm wondering if we how many new items we will see. I I guess it's only gonna be that one. And a melody pick. Hmm. Okay. okay. That's kinda squishy though. It's squishy, uh... but Featherstone can can hybrid and Claudessa is tanky, so uh, the, you don't know what the Tinder build is gonna do. And a Vermilion. Uh, yeah, we see the Vermilion, of course. I think Cattleman uh, Joe's team is really squishy by the looks of it as well. So yeah, that is true. They have so much damage though. 
They they don't have any heal. Like um, <laughs> uh, the other team got Claudessa and Tinder. And Tinder, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But that's... as I said earlier, uh, Minky is a really good bot laner with Worm. So what do you expect them to pick up? Would you expect them to pick up a bow or a Vax or some form of support? Um, maybe Minerva. Um, a Vax. A Vax. A Vax. I was thinking of support. Yeah, I would have so expected a Vax, four Bandito, or Bow. Or range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna bring down towers real quick because you can attack the towers now with uh, your abilities. That is true. Vex can use his Q. So what will Maltona's team this? pick? Who is on Maltona's team, by the way, uh, Ninzi? Maltona's team. Let's see. Where are they? Yes, it's multitasker. Maltono, Sion, Blue Mango, and Hooligan. Wow, that's a nice team. Oh, they picked yes, Shank. That's the Shank. Yeah, you you said that before. You said that before. They're, they're gonna there's gonna be a Shank pick somewhere. Yes. <laughs> it's one of the favorite heroes. The draft is complete, guys. So let's switch to the lobby and see how far along are they. All right. Can can you double check and verify that everyone's ready so we can start this match? Yeah, it's Maltono, so <laughs> who's the host still? So, uh, but yeah, we said that I said that we're good to go. So, and uh, multitasker said that they are good to go. We're just waiting for 1.0. Okay, a second. And yes, they have to wait. So on Team Glory, you can see Cattleman Joe, Relid, Minky, Lalonde, and Preferred. Wow, that's a strong team. And on the other team, you can see Multitasker, Blue Mango, Hooligan, Ziant, and Maltono. You can see that um, these, there are three Americans on their team. They have won many tournaments, if I if I recall correctly. Uh, it's not a team that you can just walk over. So yeah, I'm, I'm especially with these new uh, statistics and new items. Uh, I'm really wondering what team will win. It's it's pretty much anyone anyone's ball game because this 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 last patch changed drive dramatically. So so we will see how these seasonal players will go and how they will uh, yeah do with yes. this, these new ch new changes. How they will adapt. But, yes, but I to be honest, I think that uh, 1.0 has a uh, Maybe a slight advantage here. Um, I'm not sure what the draft did though. Um, kind of even, but I guess we'll see. Um, Maltono's team is definitely going for more tankier team than uh, 1.0 is going. And uh, by Maltono's team, I. Of course, mean last minute league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L let me just swap back to the Strive Crafter and, and, and show the, the audience, the viewers, how uh, it's picked at the moment. There we go. It's back at the Strive Crafter. You can see that the draft is complete. The bands are Chester and Harrower. Those are the most banned and most picked heroes in the game. Um, you can see on Callum and Joe's team, the Hale, Ray, Moxie, Vermilion, Vax. It's kind of squishy. It might, might just do the trick. They have a lot of poke. They have a lot of tower uh, damage against towers because you can do that with your abilities now. Uh, so I'm not sure if there's a tactic right there. They're kind of squishy by the looks of it. But we will see. On Maltona's team, you have Claudessa, Featherstone, Lady Tinder, Melody, and Shank. Team-wise, you would say they would have the advantage, but it's anyone ball, anyone's ball game with these new changes, and new items. I will really want to see how these experienced players will do this, uh, especially communication-wise. So, how far along are we in the in the lobby? Um, they just said that they need one more minute for uh, last minute league. I see. So, looking at the Strive Draft, have you ever seen a Zaku pick? I have never seen a Zaku pick in a tournament yet. I'm oh, still no. awaiting one, one Zaku, Zaku pick, or a Buford pick for that matter. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've seen a Zaku either. Um, 
Would be interesting though. Yeah, it seems to be very discriminatory against the the swamp heroes. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. But, uh, uh, it's uh, Saku, you rarely see him, but same with Bastion. Bastion is not used that much. Yeah. He's not in tournaments. Aya isn't that... Um... Well, well, there was a Bastion pick the last game. Don't forget Fluffy was playing that Bastion. Yeah, I said Bandito. Oh, but... uh, I thought you said Bastion. Uh, Sorry. I meant Bandito at least. Bastion <laughs> is picked a lot. <laughs> ah, I and, see. Yeah, we're starting. We just need to win. Wait one and a half minutes here. Alright, um, so the game is on. Let's switch uh, the monitor view to the lobby view. Oh, there we go. And then I can switch later on to the in-game view when we load. So I'm wondering what pets they will pick. I haven't seen Zen yet. Zen the Owl. You can uh, go some yeah, mana regen I've with it. I've seen it uh, in pub games, but not here. I, ha I have seen Vic Vicky. Uh, used a lot. I haven't seen him in this tournament yet, but I've seen him a lot, so I'm wondering if someone would use Vicky in a tactic and go jungle or stall the lane or do something with that. If yeah, Fiki is actually really, really good to use uh, mid lane. Uh, if you have Fiki and Plunder mid lane, uh, you're really good. Yeah, I, I was actually surprised there was no Fiki uh, picked at all because I've seen so many Plunders. Uh, you would say one Fiki can counter two Plunders. Yes, that is true. And uh, also you can uh, farm really, really easy with the Fiki. So yeah, there's about 15 seconds to go, guys, and then we're off to the first semi-final. The semi-final. So after this one, we will go to the final. Uh, we will see who the winner of this match will go to the, straight to the final. And we will show the brackets again. Oh, the match uh, begins in about now. All right, let's see. In a bit, no. Yeah. <laughs> let's go to the in-game capture mode. All right. And let's swap to that. All right. You can see Minky on Vermilion with Bounder. Fetterstone on the other side with Bounder. You have Hill with Pincer. Uh, Vax with Plunder. Ray with Mystic. And Moxie with Mystic. No big surprises, no big shockers there. Uh, let's uh, see on the other team what we have. We have Melody with Bounder, uh, Claudessa with Plunder, uh, Tinder with Plunder. What's the Shank? What does the Shank have, by the way? Plunder. The baby Plunder. The baby Plunder also. I, I couldn't see it in, in, in the game. It was hiding behind the wall. <laughs> okay. And of course, we got two baby Mystics. Oh, the, oh, the the tiny mystics. Like, let let yes, me just yes. check. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see with the big bug eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice, nice. And and, and like, uh, what is that? Like, a oh yeah, we're we're going here. T uh, let's see, uh, Twitch chat. What do you think? Which team will win? You can see Minky going bot. Uh, by the looks of it, Lalonde and Relit going mid. Oh, that's Hooligan a crazy thing. Going bottom. I've never seen a Lalonde Relit lane. This is insane. Two really good <laughs> players. I'm wondering what that will go. Kettleman Joe on top with Hale. Uh, maybe just just grabbing the sides. Let's see what happens though. On the other side, you have Maltona multitasker mid. You have Shank on bot, and the Tinder Featherstone lane on top. So there's a support, AD carry, and that's traditional. And on the other side, there's Hale and a support. Well, that's not uncommon. On mid, there's two squishies, but two highly uh, heavy damage dealers. Uh, yeah, we will we will see what what will happen. The, the game is starting. Uh, Ninzi, tell something about uh, what you think about mid lane, because that will be the first action of the game. Yes, mid lane. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Um, uh, oh, that's the first poke by Moxie. Alon and really squishy, but they're good players, so they know how to be uh, positioned and so on. Um, of course, uh, Claudessa is a good uh, hero with the heals and uh, of course the grab. Um, Melody with the stun, really, really good, especially since they are so squishy. 
And they also got a plunder here. Um, versus two mystics. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the push, and that's at least some extra gold before them because they they already heavy, heavily poked them. But that heal of Claudessa does something back, of course. But Relit and Lalon both have really good uh, positioning, indeed. So yes, we'll you can see that they are standing kind of far behind. To, yeah. Uh, just so they won't get picked off or something. And also, of course, um, Lalonde and Relit will be able to push kind of easy with the mines and uh, and uh, the lightning ball from Moxie. Wow. Fax is taking a lot of damage on top, a lot of damage. Oh, Ooh, can he take? He just made it out. Blue Mango. Maybe Blue Mango will die instead. Yep. Oh, Fax <laughs> dies and and Feta Stone dies. Wow, wow, here, what an action! Wow. No, I well, preferred just stopped. And I think he could have gotten Tinder, not sure. But so who wow. died first? I'm not sure, it was pretty equal there. <laughs> but to yeah, and uh we know that you actually get more gold by killing the second one and not the first one. I by the looks of it, uh, uh, Vex died first and then uh the Feta Stone uh <laughs> or was it the other way around, I'm not sure. <laughs> that was so yes. even. <laughs> Either way, bottom is uh, still like a farm fest as usual. Um, yeah. Hooligan gotta stay a bit back. Since oh yeah, Minky also has great positioning, so I'm I'm wondering how this lane will go. Yes, and uh, I I'd say that Minky is probably one of the best um, Vermilion players in. Definitely in the, the top. Community. Definitely in the top three. Let's see, you can see that Tinder on top has picked up a Windrush. Yes, and Maltono is really low mid. Well, um, let's just spectate mid then. Let's let's bring the camera up to mid. I uh, see them pushing, yeah. Relative in beast. Point oh is pushing really hard. Making it much more harder for um, uh, Multitasker and Maltono to farm. Let's see, let's see, yeah. Uh... And uh, Preferred just uh, took the green camp top. Both of them, actually. Alright. I'm still watching mid at the moment, though. Because yes. I'm, I'm waiting for something to happen. But it seems like just poking, poking, and poking. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Hooligan and Minky now got ult. Wow, Featherstone just got Fervor Boots. I just got a message of that. Let's see who 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 is in the lead of the gold graph. As we check, we can see there's a lead on yeah um what is that? Kettleman's team? What was that? One point zero? One point oh? One point one point oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that, they're in the lead and they're gaining the lead. So we would just have to see what happens right there. Yes, but if if we compare GPM and not the gold graph. We can see that um, Vermilion is winning bottom, and uh, top is losing for um, last minute league. I think the name was. And so, mid, uh, uh, mid is is dominated by the Moxie and by the Ray at the moment. That is true. Let's bring the camera back to the top lane and let's see what is Not happening really there. Not much happening top. Let's see. Well, the hill goes in. Oh, and gets grabbed. And there's the the support shield by the Vax. Let's and we can see. also see that uh, Claudessa picked up a dampening cloak, and uh, Tinder picked up a Windrush. Yeah, you can see the dampening cloak is always, cr almost always crafted with two mana regen and resistance. So, yeah, yeah, that's. That's that's not very uncommon. It's a good pickup. I think the Shank is building a golden protector. Yeah, yeah. There we go. The golden I don't protector. Know how to TP back. Oh, okay. It was really low. In that mid lane, the, he TP'd back, and the Tinder is taking some damage on top, and the Melody is taking some damage in mid. Let's see what's happening there. 
And we can see that Hooligan got kind of hard time on farming since he's up versus a range. Uh, but he does a, a good job farming behind the tower. Oh, he hooks the Minky. Actually takes a lot of damage. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, oh. what, what is that? And why didn't pick Minky pick Razor? He usually picks Razor as a pet. He picked Bounder to kite. I'm not sure if that's the correct way to go about. He's kiting him now as we speak, though. He's doing some damage at Hooligan. Uh, that's a really good uh, counter uh, harassment. Yeah, well, that's Minky for you. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you think you got him, yeah, he just. Oh, Maltono! Wow, wow, is that mid? Oh. Already low again. I thought he just teleported back. Yes, uh, Lalonde used his uh, ult on. Uh, Maltono there, so uh, Mox's ult is down. I missed that. The hooligan uses his plunder to be able to push a bit away from the tower, I guess. But we can, we can see that as it looks right now, it's more about farming than uh, trying to pick someone off. Mm-hmm. But you can you can definitely see that 1.0 is taking the lead, GPM wise, and that there needs to be something done by uh, Maltono's team. I this forgot the, I forgot the name. Last minute leak. Oh. <laughs> this, at the moment, Windrush escape on top. But at least it's not that big uh, lead. It's uh, around 700 gold, but. Could be worse. There's but a Shank ult. There's, uh, he's attacking oh, yeah, Minky. If you look bottom here, yeah. An escape by Minky. Oh, yeah, see. Uses uh, his ult there. Uh. And he pawned it up already. Let's see. That GPM by Shank there is 370. And Minky at 450. That's almost 100 lead. And he's, do it, he's dealing some pokes. He's doing some damage to that Shank. And yes. And I, I'd say that for... Uh, Hooligan it would be better if he had uh, maybe a pincer bot lane uh, since he's up against uh, Minky. Uh, the pincer can always uh, retaliate. Um, it's kind of good, um, at least early game. Enemy missing top. And we can see mid uh, mid tower for uh, uh, last minute league is almost down actually. Oh yeah! Wow, that happened pretty quickly. Minky taking some damage, kiting Hooligan back. We, we can kind of see the same thing happening again over and over on bot. Just potting up. And not really a big trade up or anything like that. He's just trying to kite that shank. And mid lane is pushing big. And yeah, the mid tower is taking a lot of damage. But we, we can see now that uh, since Hooligan got his golden protector, he. Wow, a double kill. Uh, oh. Wow. Reddit just zoned them out. And Lalonde knew exactly what Relit was doing right there, and he popped the ult with the Q. Really nice work. I actually checked bottoms, <laughs> so I missed that, but good job. Wow, the and they got the down. tower. The tower goes down as well. Of course it does. And they're already attacking the second tower. Minky is taking a lot of damage bottom. So does Hooligan though. Let's see what, what, what that does on bottom. Alright, yeah. They're both fairly low. I think Minky's in the advantage because he is the kiter, but you never know. We can see that Malady just got an uh, arcane emblem. Let us let me check that Malady build. It's rocket boots with arcane emblem of heritage. I see with two power and one mana shard. Alright, and then the Vax starts with an arc mage ring. With two power, one mana shard of influence. Increases area of effect by 300. Okay, right. Minky TP is back to get some more heal health. Alright, just we can see that. And Shank just trying to get some uh, quick farming while <laughs> Mi Minky allows him to. <laughs> Let's see, a bot is pushing heavily, the tower is taking some damage. Uh, blue Mango. Here as well. Just watching. The heal ult, the vex ult, and Fetterstone goes down. Fetterstone goes down on top. Tinder goes down as well. 
Tinder goes down as well, and the melody has gone down in the middle as well. So did the Moxie, by the way. Don't forget, so did the Moxie. Moxie goes down in the middle as well. Um, the top tower is taking a lot of damage. Um, let's go back mid real quick and see what happens there. All right. You can see Reddit still pushing. Intimidating Maltona right there. You can see the gold difference on mid. Mid is losing really hard. The Moxie and Ray are both around 500 gold. And you can see the Claudessa and uh, Melody at 300 GPM. Let's yes. take a look at the gold graphs while we're at it. They are around 8,000 ahead, actually. Wow. Wow. That's, a, that, that, that's already a, a decent lead. Uh, they will have to do something to turn that around. They will have to grab some towers, some objectives. If we look, if we look bottom, though, uh, Relit is going for a gank here. It's the double gank. Yeah, Relit's done. Will go down. Cheese shot, and he's down. Wow. Probably the tower will go down as well here. Oh yeah, definitely, because uh, you know Verm. <laughs> yes. Verm can just yeah, melt know. melt towers if there's a. There's a Verm player out there, it's you, Ninzi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, <laughs> the Demon Fang is, uh, of course, no surprise. Let's see, let's see, on top, top, the hill's going in against the Fetterstone, he's following him. Fetterstone's trying to slow him down, he got out. And Tinder's going back on top, trying to do something against the hill. On mid, you still have the Claudessa. Uh, melody lane, relit, relit trying to poke, no, rocket booted out, golden gate, nice. And some pokes against the tower, tier 2 is taking some damage. Hooligan tries to farm bottom still. Let's see. Um, I'm still looking at mid, camps. I'm still looking at mid, you can see relit stunned. Uh, relit's going Get down, relit's going down. Oh, multitask going down because of the Vax. Wow, that was uh, a nice trade-off. I think that was actually in favor of Maltono's team. Because they're so far behind that, that uh, a trade-off is actually a good thing for them. Yeah, especially uh, uh, if uh, Relit goes down since he has the highest GPM. Oh, yeah. It wasn't bad positioning. He was trying to trap them in the bush over there, but uh, Multitasker knew exactly what he was doing. And Shank is uh, heading mid. He pushed a lot of minions uh, on the tower, so the tower is taking a lot of damage bottom. But he's heading mid now. Probably wanna pick off uh, Kettleman Joe. Oh, they yeah. knew. They know he's there. There goes the what is that? Mana shield. Yep. Wow. Oh, the, the a mock good old Moxie there. No one is down. The hill pops up. Hill goes in. Shank oh. goes down. Hill manages to escape. Well, that's it's that's al also kind of good uh, old fight in there. there. Um, saved some <laughs> of his mates. Let, let, let me just check that Vax build. He's full mana build on, on Vax. Oh. We've seen that oh, before on Tinder. Let's oh, see. Really whoa, whoa, whoa. Down two people. And oh, three people. Three people, people go. Wow. And the bot tower will go down. Let's see. Uh, all, towers, all towers of Relic's team uh, 1.0 are still up. So... They really need to do something in order to, to stop this team from snowballing because currently as it looks like uh, they don't stand much chance if it continues like this. They will really have to do something. They will have to pick up team, get some picks off and uh, start from there. Hooligan trying to make the great escape. <laughs> There's three people following him. <laughs> I think he, he seems to be able to... Get away though. Oh, he turns around for Moxie. Well, well get Moxie. Get no, he's no. Gonna he's going to. He almost had it. Jump on the shank train. <laughs> yeah, nice comment, Zand. <laughs> Is that Zend or Zand? I'm not sure. Uh, Zend, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's your clan mate, man. Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Weird fucking names, though. Um, 
Yeah. That's on on. Steam is, it, is going for Baldir here. There's a sneaky Baldir right there. They know. They now they know they're there. But is it too late? I think it's too late. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They got Baldir. That's but at least something. Can they get some picks? Can they get some yes. picks off? Tinder uh, might go down here. But the heals. A lot of heals. Yeah, Tinder will go down. Tinder goes a down. Lot of damage on and Featherstone goes down. Uh, wow, Claudessa goes down because of that. Oh wow, that was a really nice ray ult. It just barely hit that Claudessa with the edge of that ult. Nice. Uh, Shanks so, uh, taking some damage from the creeps, but some irritation. That uh, Baldea was definitely not worth it. No, nope, that's that's three people for one Baldea. And they didn't get a single kill, even though Hale almost went down. But they're gonna lose top tower now as well. Yeah. I don't know if... I don't see a way that the last league team can turn this around, actually. Yeah, let's look at the gold graph. It's still climbing in their favor of 1.0. It's... Almost fifteen thousand. Fifteen. That's that's a lot in this 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 stage. So uh, I think they will need to pick up every ball there if they want want to make a shot at, at winning this game. They can still turn it around in team fights. They will have to get some picks. Let's see. Yes, and the the only tower they got left is mid tower, and it's almost down. Oh yeah, yeah. I I I didn't even see that. Uh, yeah, bot tower is also gone. So yeah, wow. Well, wow. they got two. Well, can they get picks? That's one pick. Uh, get Lalonde. That's two picks. This is this is what they need. This is what they need to keep doing. You can see a hexbane pick off by Lady Tinder. A full power hexbane. And you can see that Cattleman Joe is just continuing his mana build. Um. What is Relic building? He's going old fashioned. Fell blade, crystalline shift, full power crystalline shift with wit craft. Arcane emblem, full power with heritage. Grimoire for the double penetration. No craft on the Grimoire. Power boots and the Fell blades. Oh, if we look mid those. Well, Zian is in trouble. Zian, oh, Zian going down. Shank misses <laughs> the ult. Uh, wow. They almost got the tower though, but it's only a T1 tower. Yeah, I think they can just dive that tower if, if I'm not mistaken at, at, at this stage of the game. So Yeah, probably. It's it's it, it, you can see them grouping up at Baldir. So I would assume Baldir will go up pretty soon. These guys know exactly what they're doing. This is not a this is not a a team that has been playing with each other that long. So these are all seasonal players just mixing up with a team and they know exactly what they're doing. You can tell. But the uh, last minute league is going for Sindara now. Oh yeah. How how long would it take them, the seasonal player, to pick up on this? Well Yeah, they they won't get this. They are oh, all oh, failed ult. They thought Vex will teleport. They they see what they're doing. They will group up. They will go they in. They might be able to get this, but they they, they, will, they will get die. it. They will get it. No, why would they leave? Oh, no, no. They got yeah, it? They got it, but everyone will probably go down here. I'm not sure. The Claudessa can escape. Multitask? No, multitask goes down. Tri okay. Triple kill, quad kill. Uh, still, they got punished for taking objectives. What Was that worth it? Was that worth it? You f what do you think? Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure. For sure not. For sure not. They, they will prob probably or maybe lose a uh, gen here as well so and maybe two yeah and, 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 top. and mid will go down the mid gen that's the mid gen by wow that is quick down the 20 it's... minute mark they got the gen and if we look at the gold graph here they are so far ahead yeah it's skyrocketing now they are wow these this team just puts them away like they are beginners at strife. It's insane. Yes, Vex got 706 GPM, and his highest and the highest for the uh, last minute league. 
got 456. He picked up the Curse Wand with some health and power on it. Wow, that 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 one ball on Blue Mango <laughs> is so fat. Let's see yes, on the, on the look at bottom. Uh, the hooligan right. will go down. All right, yeah. Let's see that. Yeah, uh, Kevin and Joe he ulted down bottom to to get help that Minky. Kill. Yeah, yeah, Minky was going down, I I think, but uh, he was Kratos in trouble. is still up, but he's going down any second now. Wow. You can see what what levels are they at? You can see that Claudessa is still level eleven, and most of their team is already one or two levels ahead. Yes, Minky is level fourteen. Level fourteen already. Wow, Minky did some work on the hooligan then. You can you can see in the, it's all about positioning. It's all about knowing where you're at, where your enemy's at, uh, what to build. Uh, Let's see what 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 Vermilion is building, for example. The throwing axe on bot, the demon fang, the zealot's blade, the crushing mace. He knew exactly. Okay, I'm playing against a tank character. Let's get this crushing mace of Sundering. Nice. Will Moxie? Will go down though. Yeah. And again, will survive. They got a little bit greedy there, and they made a bad initiation. That Moxie, you can. I can tell that uh, you can see Crystal Shift, then the double penetration also on, on Moxie. Let's see what, what, what this goes about. Cattleman Joe stays alive. Hooligan will probably go down for this. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Hooligan goes down. And I missed another kill on top. <laughs> and it's, it's four down. It's, it's four for one. It's so hectic. It's so hectic right now. And they will get another gen. Tinder's trying to defend it, doubt he can, no. Yes. And, um, it's not yeah. game yet, I think, but uh, I don't think there's anything they can do to stop them. But uh, I would yeah. say this is game for sure. Yeah, it, uh, it, it, it is game, but it's not <laughs> like they, they can finish Crux as we speak. They, they no, will that is true. They still They're take the objective. Now, yeah. Dark wave, right? But but look at that build. L look at that they Moxie build, and look at that that Ray build. It's it's almost similar. You can see both players, one from American, and one from Germany. Yeah, they are actually. They know what they're doing. Exactly the same. They know what to build. They know when to build it. Uh, yeah. Wow. They're going to f to the full magic damage aggressive build. With the old-fashioned crystalline shift, full power, is that with width? Yeah, that's with width. Is it with width on um, Ray? Yeah, that's with width. Okay, nice. Not sure if they agreed upon this, but uh, it's fun to top, see. Top gen is going down. Moxie e ulted the generator. <laughs> I think they gave up. Oh, they're doing like a five-man push to get some towers mid. <laughs> this, One Ray ult. <laughs> <laughs> nice really try, guys. Really nice try. By, uh, team uh, 1.0. I'm surprised that they won so easily. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And Me yeah. too. Me too. Because the Blue Mango is an experienced player. So is Hooligan. So multitasker Maltono as well. Z and two. So yeah. Yes. Uh, but GG. Really good. Uh, played by uh, 1.0. Yep. Yeah. So I still have.